what is going on you guys what's going on y'all so this is a real serious topic topic that i'm gonna be talking about right this is a serious topic that's been going on you know um it's been going on for years you know it's going on for years but it's ridiculous that we still have to keep talking about this like why does this stuff still keep happening they not gonna let up until people start shooting cops and stuff and then they're gonna be like oh no oh my god this happened this happened and then this and this i'm like yo y'all is gonna start a trend you know what i'm saying so i'm finna watch this video of the police officer i can't even say it like this is hurt this hurts my heart yo um the police officer that pepper sprayed that lieutenant when he said he can't see the license plate in the back i meant the license number in the back um and i guess he thought the car was stolen or something like but why did you have to pull up on me with your gun out you just could have came to the car. We just gonna watch the video and see. You know, we just finna watch the video because I don't have time. Like, this stuff right here, like, it breaks my heart that we have to go through this still. It's so irritating. Let's see was involved in a controversial traffic stop of a black and latino army officer in december has been fired body camera footage shows windsor virginia police officers Bit. joe gutierrez and daniel crocker like why their guns and army second lieutenant karan nazario before gutierrez pepper sprays him yeah. lieutenant nazario was released without being charged and he is now suing both officers cbs news correspondent christina rafini has the story what's going on so this yo my head is hurting because this is ridiculous like we, we should gonna keep on watching like the occupants are in your vehicle it's only myself why are your weapons drawn what's going on the door slowly step out get out get out of the car get out now y'all see this right y'all see that he, he had his hands out the car from the beginning, yo. He was like, hey, I ain't got nothing. I'm here. Like, what do y'all want? Why you got your gun out? Like, why do you have your gun out? Like, why? Come on now. If I'm supposedly, like, supposed to be following the law, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I got my hands out the, 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 the ding on window. And y'all is doing some crazy stuff. You got your whole gun pointed at me. For what, yo? For what? I ain't showed no nothing. Like, I ain't showed that I'm going to be violent. I didn't show anything like that. So why? We, we... I have not committed any crime. In body camera and no cell crimes. phone video, Army 2nd Lieutenant Caron Nazario, still in his uniform, holds his hands out the window of his new car. Out the window. While two Windsor, Virginia police officers, guns drawn, order him to get out. Right here. Both of them have they guns pointed at him yo why you don't put the gun away he is clearly saying yo i don't have anything like my hands are up i don't got nothing okay listen i'm cooperating like come on yo this is this right here is why people do the stuff that they do this is why they are scared to even get stopped by the police like because they acting crazy because of the last president we had all of these people is coming out the woodworks. Like, come on, bro. Like, chill out. I'm honestly afraid to get out. Get out. Yeah, dude, you should. Yeah, you heard what he said? He said, I'm honestly afraid to get out. And then old dude right here pulling on the door. The door is locked. But I can't do this and hit the lock button. Because then you're going to think I'm grabbing something and then shoot me. Like, come on, bro. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me, get please. The... Get your hands off me. You know what? Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. I didn't do anything. Didn't do nothing. Don't do that. Nazario repeatedly asks why he's been pulled over. Why? Before ex-officer Joe Gutierrez pepper sprays him through the open window. Sir, just get out the car. I'm trying to breathe. Oh, my dog is in the back. 
My dog is choking right Get now. Get out of the car. Nazario is then kicked, forced to the ground, and put in handcuffs. Yeah. Why am I being treated Why? I'm not cooperating. The incident report says Nazario was pulled over for not having tags displayed on his SUV. Y'all see this, right? The temporary dealer plate is... Yo! Are you kidding me? And they have no tags on the vehicle, but it's a whole tag. That's a temporary tag that he just bought the car and on the vehicle. Like, what are you talking about? You didn't even pay attention. You just jumped out the car and automatically assumed something. Like, come on, bro. Visible in the officer's body cam video. Yeah. The report also said officers treated it as a high-risk stop because Nazario had tinted windows and drove at a very low speed to a gas station before pulling over. Okay. Abu Gutierrez later said he understood. As far as not stopping, if it's weird and comfortable, you want a wellness spot? Did everything that we are okay, so now you say you understand that I drove slow, right? You understand that I drove slow and pulled over into the gas station, but then you said this was a high risk situation because I drove slow and pulled over to the gas station. Oh, I understand why you did it. Yo, so why is it a problem? Why you had to jump out like we on World War Three and pop pow, chicka chicka, boom boom. Like, come on, yo, like, chill out. To do to, to for everyone's sake. Attorney Jonathan Arthur represents Cesario. When you look in your rearview mirror and you see two firearms trained at you, you got to get real calm, real quick. He's really calm. To get out of there alive. Yeah, it's a credit to his training. What are you, a specialist, Corporal? What are you? According to the lawsuit, the officers also threatened to derail Nazario's military. Yo, you heard it. He said, are you a specialist or a corporal or something? No. Yeah, I'm an officer. I'm a lieutenant. And that's how you know you finna get your ass handed to you. Because I'm about that. You heard? A career if he pursued further action against them. If you want to just chill, let this go, and no charges filed, We'll take the handcuffs off, we'll get your bottle of water to drink on, and sit here until you feel comfortable driving. Yo, you see this? He was like, just let it go. Don't charge, don't do no charges against us. Don't go against us. And we're going to let you go. The handcuffs is gone, and you ain't going to go to jail. So that means you know you did something wrong, because now you're trying to get out of it. And you want me to give you an out for you not getting in trouble. You is a dumb Yo, donkey of the year. Like, are you crazy? You think I'm not going to file charges against you? You just pepper sprayed me while I'm sitting in my new car with the tag displayed. And you you were about to shoot me, bro. How did I know you wasn't going to just shoot me when you walked up? Like, come on, yo. Now, after that search of his vehicle turned up no violations, Nazario was released without charge. The governor of Virginia has asked state police to investigate the incident. CBS News reached out to the Windsor Police Department. We did not hear back. Anthony Nazario's attorney said he wanted to file the lawsuit to hold these two officers accountable. And so these kinds of stops stop happening. Christina Ruffini, thanks, Christina. Wow. I mean... Yo, all I got to say is they not going to be happy until people start shooting cops before they get shot like and it's the craziest thing like i've seen videos of i'm go, i'm gonna say white people i i've seen videos where white people get pulled over in a stolen vehicle or they did something wrong which this dude didn't they did something wrong and they talking all nice the, the white person is talking crazy out the mouth. They run. They don't do nothing. Like, if we run, we get shot. If they run, they just jump in their car and chase them. Like, where is that same energy when we are on the opposite end and not the white person? It's like, come on, bro. You got to get it together. Like, I understand. Ooh, I'm a cop. I got a gun. I can do, you know, I'm supposed to. But you're supposed to pre protect and serve. Like, not intimidate and shoot. Like, how does that work? How, does, how are you coming out of your car 
with your gun protecting me, making me feel safe. That that makes me feel unsecure, and that makes me feel like I'm about to, I am about to go at this time. Like it's my time to die. Like it's over with. I only had one altercation where a cop was very suspect. You know what I'm saying? Um, he clearly just walked up to the car because you know I have a, a out of state tag most of the time, so. He walked up to the car and was like, where are you headed? I was like, I'm headed home to Mississippi. You see my bags in the back? Like, he was like, so what do you have in your bag? I'm like, I have clothes and shoes and my laptop, you know, because I'm traveling to go see my family. Like, and he's like, are you sure that's what you have in your bags? You have anything in the trunk? I'm like, I have a speaker box back there in the suitcase with some shoes, but that's all I got. He was like, so, um, can I have your license and your registration and, sh and proof of insurance? I was like, yeah, sure, you can definitely have that. Here you go. And let me tell you, I was on cruise control five miles over the limit, right? The limit is 75 because I was driving in Texas. The limit was 75, yo. I'm going 80 because I'm, I'm on cruise control. It's people passing me, bro passing me as we're passing the cop they going a good 9500 but I get pulled over and I'm like I bet you it's because of my tag because I'm I got an out of state tag you know um but he gave me a warning I was like yo if he give me a ticket for this I'm I'm gonna fight this because I was about three hours away from where I lived at I'm like yo I'm gonna fight this I don't care, you know, but he was very, like, standoffish. He had his hand on on his gun, yo. I'm like, yo, why you have your hand on your weapon? I didn't say that to him. I'm in my head. So, I'm just sitting here with my hands like this, like, holding them to where he can see them. He was like, so why you didn't tell me that you had a concealed carry? I was like, I don't have any weapons in the car at this moment. So I didn't think it was something that I needed to say. But next time, I don't know. If I ever get pulled over again, I'll know to just tell them, you know. And he was like, okay, just make sure you tell them. Um, because now it looks suspicious. I'm like, if I would have had a weapon in the car, I definitely would have told you, sir. I definitely would have told you. And he just looking around in the car like he looking for something. I was like, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. You can walk away. Like don't sit there and stand and look at me like come on yo that's that's very 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 irritating like i'm good yo but other than that you know my day is going well you know y'all see i got my melanin shirt on it said queen on the side you know i love me some colors <laughs> i got my colors popping you heard you know what i'm talking about melanin all day um Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. We're on the road to 1K subscribers, you know. Uh -huh. um, that's going to be coming here pretty soon. I think the channel is going to keep going. It's going to get bigger and bigger because we're going to get on the grind. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see. If y'all want to see me do a reaction to um, Caucasian or white individuals getting pulled over, and see what the cops do we can do that because that might be my next video since i did this but yeah just join the tribe <laughs> subscribe hey and make sure you like the video comment down below and stay tuned for more videos and if you don't know now you know bye